Right, um, hey guys, I'm going. I'm just going to show you this quick short video with Neo. Um, a little bit of hand stripping that we'll do on him, and um, you uh, would have probably seen the golden retriever puppy video now of how to introduce your dog to grooming. Um, but what I didn't do with the golden um, puppy um, is uh, because they're not hand stripped, is to teach them to lay down on the side for hand stripping. That's how I do it. One side, then flip them over the other side. So I'll just show you with Neo how we do it. Um, Neo, come. Neo, up on the table. Good boy. So um, now, um, usually, um, would be best to teach your dog the down command so they lay down on command on the floor, not on a table. A lot of the dogs are trained to um, stand on a table, uh, but we need to teach them that they need to lay down when we say so or sit uh, because I like to work down his back, middle back, when they are sitting down. So now that he's sitting, all I'm going to use today is just the uh, fingers and the rubber comb. So if I turn him around, near turn, near turn, turn this way, turn. Right, sit, near sit, sit. Right, and you see how I put my hands in the back of him and that's how he knows as well um, to sit. So down his back and neck, I like to have him sit in. And we're just going to comb down. Um, there's loads coming out of him, but his coat is really fine now. Uh, no, near up. Now, if they keep sitting when they, laying down when they shouldn't, he's gonna get a neck strap, right, and now, near sit, sit, there you go, good boy, so I'm just going to right, we're just going to do work down his back, but only with this because his coat is quite thinned out now. I don't know whether it's a big seasonal mold. Every time I go grooming this boy, his coat is different. So if you can easily see skin when you move the coat upwards like that, I mean, on camera it might look thick, but it's actually not that thick at the moment. So. I'm just going to quickly rake him, a fair bit coming, um, which uh, means it was time to do it. Um, if you want a card, there are Joda Murphy in the States available set of three stripping knives, which are a coarse one, medium one, and the mixed one, fight stay. No, you can't just pull your head out of it. Um, and normally you would start with the coarse or possibly the medium. Now you have to go with these knives very carefully over the bony spine and the hips and the shoulders. But you see his, um, it's not, for his thin coat, I would use stripping knives if the coat, uh, card in, uh, if the coat is really, really thick. His one isn't at the moment, so that's all I'm gonna use. And you want to have a tight skin, which is why I want him sitting, because he tightens his skin himself. On the neck, he's got loose skin, so I might have to hold him there. Up. Now, around his rump. Um, He's got more there. Stay here. Uh, 
So this is removing um, much better the coat I don't want in there than the cardio knife. So there are several tools, but each coat, it's, um, it'll depend what you'll find the best to use. So just try uh, what suits better for your dog. So down the middle, we go in the set and the rump here. Neo, you know, don't pull your head out of there um, when he stands. And now we're going to, good boy, stay. Now we're going to see whether he's been down here. All right. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to lay your dog down so that we could do his sides. Right. Put the tools away. Make sure you don't leave your expensive tools, not these, but like scissors and stuff or clippers on the table because if the dog will kick him off, um, it might be an expensive mistake. Right, Neil, lay down. Down. Now he knows down, but you see this isn't very good. Now I want, uh, he's laying this way, a bit like a sloppy lay down. Where can we see? Maybe there. So he's got his back leg out there. Now what I tend to do is, he's not very good at this actually, because we've never done it laying down. So this is quite new to him. We've only done it once. Now I want to swing his shoulders and his thigh that he's laying on more underneath him so that he'll lay flat on the side. Um, so I've just got my hair where his elbow is and my other arm is by his thigh that he's laying on and his hip and I'll just scoot his elbow under. Ah, ah, lay down. Good boy. Now, they might give you a, they might be surprised. So with my body, as I was leaning onto him, I held him sort of down and then you can just put your hand there on their head to ease them off and just stay still. If they're trying to get up, just hold them still with your body and your arms just to lay them flat until they calm down. Obviously he's done it once so he's calmed down really quickly. Stanley, what are you licking the table for? So now I've got him laying nicely on the side, how I want it. And there we go. Uh, you want to have something nice and soft. This is a thick yoga mat, but you can use a vet bed or something. And this is a good time to do on a tired dog. So don't go do this first thing in the morning when they wake up and they're full of energy because they're not gonna wanna lay still for you. Um, it's afternoon now, he's had a busy morning, uh, he's been out for a walk, so he's in a good mood for this. Um, and now you see I can really work on his side. And if they keep trying, start with your sessions, um, real quick ones. Good boy, he will actually go to sleep. Um, start with just few minutes until you work your way up to a point where the dog will lay here as long as I want him to. Um, and you see now, I like to work on the sides um, this way rather than with the dog standing. And also when you're new to this or you're just learning, um, you're obviously going to work slower. Um, and I think it's just not fair to keep the dog standing. Um, even an hour on a table, if you did half an hour each side, it's a long time for a dog to stand, um, especially if you want to do other things like the bath and the dry. Look how much is coming out. Um, if you want to bath and dry um, and do your trimmings and other things, so it's not fair. That's why what I can do this way and I'm not going into his feathers at all because they are dirty. He's going to have a bath tomorrow. Um, so I'm just basically working on all the coat that is short. 
and leaving his feathers alone. And if you just rake them with this comb regularly, every two to four weeks, depending on the coat, um, that should be enough and there should be very minimum carding needed or even hand stripping. Um, so if you could just practice this and do this, um, that should keep your top coat nicely. And also the point of removing all this junk is that the new coat can't regrow until this is still there. So this half dead and dead coat, unless it comes out, the new coat can't regrow. And it's that nice new fresh coat that gives you that sleek, shiny, flat laying top coat. Um, and how often you do it really depends on how quickly your dog regrows the coat, but this encourages the coat to regrow. Um, so he doesn't grow fast. Um, there's loads coming, he really needed doing this. Um, He probably would need this once a month, I would say, his coat, which isn't too thick and it doesn't grow fast. And if we just done this, he's got a patch here on his back that might need a bit more pulling by hand. There's just few on his head. Right, so now that's enough on that side. Now, my old girl, I can just flip her like I'm gonna try to do with him. So we move him to the slightly there. I know, puppet. And then I'm just gonna grab his legs and just quickly flip him. Make sure he doesn't fall off. And there we go. You might not be able to do that with your dog. Um, practice on the floor. Uh, if you can, make sure you don't drop them off the table. Obviously, I know my dog really well. So we just flipped him like this real quick. Puppies, little puppies are easy as well because they're a lot lighter. Um, and when you go sleepy tight puppy, you can practice doing this. This is best to, best to do. Oh, hello, my baby old girl. My old girl come to say hi. Oh, good girl. She's not very well now. Um, do you want a biscuit, Shell? Stay. Uh, she come, Shelby, Shell. Oh, and he can have it. No! Down. There. All right, old girl come for a biscuit. Good girl. All right, that's it. No, Neo, stay. Stay. See, so. Stay. Right. Okay. So we just a little bit quickly work on this side. There is also stripping stone that you can use but um, I've tried it on the Irish red and white coats um, and I've tried it on the wire coated Dachshund as well. I wasn't a fan of a strip in stone 
There might be a coat that that works better on, but I just didn't find it that great uh, on the coats that I worked with. So, and we're just gonna comb out what comes out. And then we'll do a little bit more after his bath. We'll see where we at. I'm just really taking the bulk out before the bath, which means um, it's going to be a quicker bathing time because um, the coat is not as thick by removing some of this dead coat, but also um, you'll dry them quicker too. And then the final work. Once I dried him, I'll see what more needs to come out. And then we'll just touch up. But at the moment, his coat, I've seen it better. So I'm not gonna go too wild with the tools because you can end up removing too much and end up with a really thinned out patch, which you don't want to do. There we go. So. I mean, this didn't take long, raking them out. But if I was to really hand strip him by hand, you know, pulling all the hairs out, he could... I'd like to, if let's say he went to the show and I have to do it properly, we got shows coming up, I would probably do sections an hour at the time. And um, not sure how much we would need, two, three, four days, hour at the time to prepare his coat leading up to shows but um, you see so um, let me try to put the camera closer see if you can see what I'm doing with my hands right Simba can you go my boy right. and also you want to pull down we're going that way his coat flows so there's, there's this little patch you can see that sticks out badly. Now that's a quite a weird, difficult patch because if I pull it, or everything that sticks out, all these wild little hairs, he will end up having a thinned out patch there. So that, this difficult section really does come down to drying it smooth and just taking the bulk out. But he's got a few browns here um, that I want to, so I'll lift the coat up, um, lift it up into my fingers. Let's see if you can see better. That way, maybe. Maybe this way. Good boy. Good boy, boys. Good boy. Um, yeah, he's got this section here. There's a few really hairs that I don't like. Um, so I'll lift the coat up and then I'll just grab the tips and I'm pulling down towards which way they should be growing. And this is quite gentle pulling. At the moment his coat is so dirty, it's actually quite grippy so it's coming out easily even without the rubber gloves. So it's just sort of few are coming out, nothing too heavy. Um, the reason I'm lifting the coat up, I lift the coat up and then I pull sort of the bottom layers of it. But 
when you have a look, if I can show you, if he's, if I pick his coat up, there's a skin. So you could see his coat is not thick at the moment. If, if you work too hard, look, there's so easily you see the skin. See how thin his coat is. So you have to go, if, if that's the case, you really just want to, and same here for this difficult patch. See how thin it, it is? There's just the skin showing easily. So I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I'm just going to leave that. And that's why we've only used the rubber kind and um, didn't go too crazy. I have seen his coat thicker. Uh, one of those set of things. Every season, there's something different going on and you think, right, I know what I'm doing now and how I'm gonna do it. And then you find that the coat is different and it doesn't behave how you want it. And um, you just have to do things differently. So, um, at the moment, there's just some dead hair to pull out of him, but it's not, um, not as good as he had in some previous videos that we made. So, and I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, so that's laying relatively smooth. Um, obviously it's dirty, so once he'll have a bath, um, and we blow dry this naughty patch here that I cannot get rid of it, no matter what I do, you either pull it bold or it's just gonna stick out. So um, that will do for him. Um, that was just a quick rake. So comb is a good way to go. Um, and you can't do any damage that way. Um, so just do a little bit at the time, every two to four weeks. Uh, or even um, even longer, you might be able to go. Um, and if you stay on top of that, you'll have a nice coat. That won't be no problem with that. So thank you for watching. And um, I hope um, this video was helpful. See you next time. Bye-bye.